Today is it. Everybody's worked really hard. This is the showcase. You know what? I, I need you to rotate to give me that shiny side out. The good news is Caesar is here to see the performance. So he is going to get to see them on stage. Doing the annual showcase is stressful enough, but then having a Broadway agent in the audience, it's like my head's going to explode. I just want my kids to make an impression. And now, the Abby Lee Dance Company proudly presents We Love to Dance. the showcase as a viable way to see what we're going to spend money on to take to nationals. When I sit in the light booth, I see the overall picture that I don't normally get to see at a competition. So I really get a great view of who's on, who's off, who needs private lessons, who doesn't, and what numbers really are going to do well at nationals. The moms are next. The moms are next. Can we, can we talk through the dance? Yes, let's talk through the dance. Honey. At this point, I am so nervous. I'm a nervous wreck backstage. By the way, moms are next. All right, we're, we're going to just talk through. Do we need to be backstage? Oh, no, wait. No, listen. No, this dance is over. Oh, crap. We step out on stage, and the lights hit us, and I'm blinded, and I'm in the middle of my worst nightmare. I have dreams about stuff like this. I don't want to do this. Oh, we're walking out. That lass has class. This chick is hip. And if she takes you on her ride, it's a real crazy trip. Those lips, those hips, beyond compare, that sway so gently as they twist. I pretty much took center stage, and I improvised, but I think that the moms probably should have expected that being a dance teacher, I was going to put some of my own thing into it to jazz it up. They should have expected that, and if they didn't, then they got caught with their pants down. She changed the dance. She's doing a solo out there. What is she doing? She's trying to upstage everyone. <laughs> Kathy was in her little like candy apple heaven. I'm gonna kick out music. Kathy used us so she could audition for the Broadway talent scout. Good luck to you, Kathy. I hope you enjoy playing Auntie Mame on Broadway. I'm not a dancer. Guess what? I'm proud of you. Kathy knew that Caesar was in the audience, and she made us look like idiots out there. Mom, we have four lollipops. We have five kids. What are we doing? No, Maddie, because she's right in the middle. Are they backstage? Yes, they're backstage. Rom, gonna... I really don't think that anybody's going to have an issue with Maddie not having a lollipop, because it looks like she's not supposed to, because there's two girls on each side, and then Maddie's in the middle. Listen. Maddie does not have a pop. Yes, there's only four, so go. She's coming. One of the sugar daddy lollipops broke or something, so of course the special one in the dance who doesn't have to dance with the giant stick is Maddie because she's the center and she's the special one with no props, so naturally your eyes go to her. That's the way things go. Woo! 
obviously Maddie stood out because she didn't have a lollipop, but I think she really made the dance because she really used her facial expressions, and I think she was just adorable in the dance. I was a little nervous to perform in front of Caesar. I just wanted to make sure that I knew my dance and I remembered my dance. I honestly don't remember how well I did because I was so nervous. Miss Abby says that the New York agent is looking for girls to put on Broadway. I think it's a big deal because I would really like to be on a Broadway show. Cesar Roca, an agent from Telzy and Company Casting, was in the house tonight. <laughs> Having Cesar come here was a great honor. It was fun. It was exciting. I was thrilled to have him here. Hi. Hey, girls. Good job. You guys are so good. Congratulations. You were so good. Thank you. Hi. Congratulations. Hi, thank you. you guys are so good. Come with me, Maddie. Just gonna chat with Maddie over here for a second. Yeah, of course. You want to come? Let's go here. Coming from New York, Maddie's a star. <laughs> Maddie is its unreal how good she is. And the face on stage, all the girls are very good, but Maddie just stood out for me. She has that glimmer, that sparkle. I would love, like, if you're ever in New York, just come in and, like, let me know you guys are there. And I would love to, like, just chat so the office can get to meet you. And like I said, we're doing a bunch of stuff with kids now. So it'd be great. And just to keep in touch. I can see her on stage. I can see her on television. I can see her as one of the kid actors that we see in New York all the time. Her picture yesterday was great, so that's good. And it's yeah. old, but Abby wanted that one. As soon as we found out there was a talent agent from Telsey and Company coming, we knew that the focus was going to be on Maddie. And I know that Abby probably promoted her before anybody else. She's so good. She's so good. She's just She's smart. unreal. She's smart. She's smart. Yeah, and to take a, a strong dancer amongst the other girls. And uh, naturally, when he came out and he wanted to talk to somebody, the child he pulls aside is Maddie. And I don't know, what did you say? You said you're not upset, but it hurts. Yeah. Yeah. Thank Great. You. you look beautiful on stage. Thank you. Thanks. I knew Caesar would love her. It's kind of a given. And she has a cute little personality. She's not a brat. Christy is jealous of my eight-year-old daughter, and I think it's totally ridiculous. It's because my kid is the star. She is the most talented girl there, and Abby knows that she has a future. I don't know how much longer I can put up with Abby. The whole Broadway casting agent thing was total bull We all know why this guy came in, and it was for her precious little Maddie, no one else. I might have agreed to play by Abby's dumb little rules, but no more. I'm not keeping my mouth shut, and it's on. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. It was nice to meet nice you. To meet you too. Nice to meet you, Maddie.